Well, Robbie, it uh, was quite the event last night. A double trouble, double jeopardy, double elimination. What a wake-up call for John and Petey, you know. They would go to bed, wake up, and boom, they're right back in elimination. What did you think about that contest? Uh, well, uh, I didn't see it coming, nor did any of us. Uh, it was two great players eliminated just like that. So you can, you, you can see how quick things can happen. It was, uh, you know, I looked at it like, wow, my chances got even better. It's two strong caliber players that just got knocked off the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I was, well, yeah. so the, um, you know, the, the money list now is becoming very important. Um, you know, we saw people, you know, buying the extra shots and stuff now, or are you guys starting to think, well, maybe that's not always the best strategy, given the leaderboard draws players like this to go into elimination right away? Well, when you're in that moment, it's all about survival. You're trying to stay on the show. So mm -hmm. when, I, when I got the opportunity to buy a shot, I didn't hesitate. Now, looking back, um, you know, I questioned myself, but I didn't know how I was going to perform. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I faced a, a great player, so I, you know, I had the money to work with. It was part of the game, and uh, I was just playing the game. And I was just trying to survive to the next show, and I told myself, hey, you know, take advantage of this opportunity of, of having some money and buying yourself an advantage, and you'll play better golf in the future, and, and you'll, build your, you'll build your credit back up. But um, now looking back, it's, uh, should I, could I, would you with, you know, so I don't. You know, you're in the moment. You don't really think ahead. You're just kind of basing it on, you know, the present and, and worrying about the future when it gets there. So you know, yeah, well, I, I did the right thing. Yeah, I think, you know, it's one shot at a time. So, again, it's one it's one contest, one elimination at a time. And so you have to do whatever you can to survive. I totally agree with that. Well, but John, ultimately, it, it, now you see the game we're playing. Ultimately, it's, it's about the power. It's about the money. And now it's... It's coming unraveled, so it's like, uh oh, we, uh, it, it's here now. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it makes it that much more exciting, uh, you know, winding down to the last few shows. Um, mm -hmm. John, John and Petey, their um, their standoff. Uh, John's strategy to go with those short putts over and over and over again. In hindsight, he obviously missed out that that one shot. But what did you think of that overall? It could have gone either way, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea because, you know, he was confident in it. He makes a three-footer. It's a lot of pressure on that second guy. The mm -hmm. second guy, I mean, a three-footer is, is is forever when when the pressure's on. So I like the strategy. And they, they, they went around that hole for for a long time. And I would have done the same thing because you figured the second guy has to answer and there's more pressure on that guy. And once he did miss, he just lost the ball. They're playing horse, so he just lost the ball. He still had a chance to answer his his make, but I'd have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, good. Well, I have to ask you, what do you think about all of these long putters that have shown up on the big break with young guys? We see them more with people who've you know, gone through and been good putters, and then they go to the long putter when whether the yips come in or they're getting older and a little shakier. But these are all young guys playing with these long putters. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, uh, it's all confidence. It all comes down to having confidence, you know, with your putter. So whatever it takes, you got to stand on your head. You got to grip it cross-handed. If uh, long putter, short putter, it's, it's all confidence. So, but I think there's a, a little advantage uh, with having a long putter because you can you can host it between your you know on your chest or in your belly button, and you can keep that uh, that pendulum. You know, and you, it's easier to release the putter, but you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but I, I've always had a short putter. I, I usually tend to rent mine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just, but uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people like it because it's easier to release release yeah. the putter. It's almost uh, it's close to being illegal. They are almost, they almost outlawed that putter, and it wouldn't surprise me in the future if they do that. Yeah, well, I would I would be all for that. I don't think they should come into play until you hit the Champions Tour and you're 50 years old. Then I think that it might be fair, but I think it does give a bit of an advantage to the to the people who carry them. But, well, let's go on to the uh, first immunity challenge. You you played well last night. You just missed one shot, but you felt so badly for your team. The pressure of playing for more than one person really rests heavily on your shoulders, doesn't it? 
Oh, there's no doubt about it. There's absolutely no doubt about it. That's what, that's part of the big break. It's, it's the way that script is written. And uh, we never saw that coming. We always thought it was an individual uh, contest thrown on a team. That's, that's the added pressure you have right there. Everybody's expecting you to hit quality golf shots. And then, you know, you hate to let your let your team down like that. And, you know, I hit a poor golf shot, but... You know, I start struggling, and I start uh, questioning my golf swing, and I start losing a little confidence, and I tend uh, I start getting a little nervous. Uh, and that was a grind to make it through last night. That was a grind. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really deserve to be on the next show. I've, I've been very lucky so far, Gail. So. Well, I don't know about that, Robbie. You know, second immunity challenge, you know, now you're, you know, it is one-on-one. You just hit three great shots right where you were supposed to. No prisoners, take no prisoners, um, and you came out the other side. I mean, it, you can't uh, you can't say that you don't deserve to be there because you played really well. One one shot in everything you did yesterday, and that was all you missed. So um, don't don't put yourself down too much. I mean, if anything, you know, David was the one who was really struggling, doing some shots we didn't expect to see from him. At least I didn't. What do you think about some of his play last night? Well, I mean, you know, uh, it's just it's so pressurized. It's unbelievable. I mean, it may have looked good on television, but it was a really tough grind for me to execute those three seven irons from 175 yards. I had lost my confidence hitting the ball from right to left. TV doesn't show it, but I was bringing that ball in pretty strong from left to right because I was losing my confidence from right to left, so I just... You know, I was searching, and then I was grinding, and that was a struggle to make it through last night. But David, um, he's very confident. He's very confident. He just hit a few miss hits, but the boy's young, and um, and when you're young like that, you don't have any power. But you don't have a power bill, water bill. You don't have a house payment, car car insurance. He don't have no pressure. <laughs> it's a little easier for him, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he certainly came in. You know, turned pro to basically to be on the show. He does have all of that sort of no fear coming with him, and he has a he has a grinding um, attitude. He he never gave up, even you know right down to the very end. He just even when he hit some really not very good shots, he would come back with these clutch putts. It was really impressive that he fought back the whole way. Yeah, he's been a good. He's been rolling the ball really, really, really good for the past three or four weeks, and. Um, you know, it's all confidence. He's, he's been in elimination once or twice. He's hit quality golf shots when he's needing to, and he's just building momentum. And he faced a great player with Petey, and Petey kind of gave it to him a little bit with those two, three putts. Petey was very confident, but ultimately the most important club in your bag is the putter. Now, that's what makes or breaks you, period. I'm, we're, all, we're all capable of hitting quality golf shots at any time, but... The putter is either there or not. Uh, ultimately, that's the most important club in your bank. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a great uh, on the edge of your seat kind of show last night, and something tells me it's not going to get any better than that. Um, I mean, it's probably just going to get worse as far as nerves, and you guys are coming down with just the last few. So that night when you guys were there and there's so few of you left, what were you thinking? What were you talking about? I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't think we're talking about much because we're looking around and realizing, wow, this baby's close to being over. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and then ultimately I'm looking up at the scoreboard realizing, uh-oh, you know, I'm sure there's, there's something to come. I don't have much money. I'm, I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. So I figured there's something to come, and, and I realize that my work's cut out for me. I'm going to have to perform and play good golf from here on out. And, but there's not much talking, really. It's starting to get really serious. There's not much joking and laughing anymore. It's about to be over with. So we're all really keeping to ourselves, and and it's it's, it's tight it. But we're getting selfish now. It's uh, it's about us now. Yeah, yeah. Well, and there's no more music, man, to sort of lighten the evening up with some music and singing. So, yeah, I can see the tension probably building. Well, Robbie, I've got to ask you. So on Facebook, you've got some T-shirts going on there. Tell me about that. What are you doing? It sounds like you're getting out there and getting commercial and stuff. Good for you. Tell us a little bit more about those T-shirts and where you're going with it. Uh, you know, I just come up with a uh, you know catchy little logo. It, it's, it spells my name S H A N K, and 
and my silhouette of my golf swing makes the A, and I just thought it was a catchy type logo, and I've had some good response with it, and I made a few uh, shirts for myself and took a few pictures with it and posted it on Facebook, and I've had a great response. A lot of people around the nation has been responding, saying that, saying that they wanted a T-shirt, so, you know, I'm, I'm making up some shirts and sending them out to little kids and toddlers and women and Big adults, small adults, so it, it's fun, you know, to have someone to follow you like that, and um, and um, I'm just enjoying the ride, you know. So, well, how do we get one then? If you wanted to, one of your T-shirts, how do you get one? Uh, you can go to um, you can go to cafepress. dot com backslash shank golf. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah. You can order any color, any size. Well, I am definitely going to head over there right after we get off the phone here and order myself one and uh, coffee for my golf guy and uh, wear them with pride. And so you're gonna you you gonna you gonna walk around with a cuss word on your shirt. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I've had words. <laughs> well, Robbie, thank you so much for talking to me today, and uh, I look forward to next week's show and talking to you about that one. No, well, Gil, thanks for having me. It's been a fun ride. Okay. Take care. Yes, ma'am.